Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I'm bringing to you all is a video on the New World Weekly Update, which is going to be 1.4.4. Now, as you guys can see on the screen here, this has literally just been released today, about an hour ago, so very fresh news, and it is just going to be a very quick update on what they are bringing us with this weekly little patch that we like to see here after the update. Now, I have been spending most of my time in the PTR, but of course, this is the weekly update for the live server so these are going to be active within a few hours of this video going up so if you are watching it after the upload date then these will already be implemented into the servers all of these fixes and changes and as always, if you guys do want to stay up to date with all of the latest news and events from New World, as well as tips, tricks, guides, and other cool videos, make sure you are dropping a subscribe down below with the notification bell on. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, and you find it useful me uploading these videos, keeping you up to date with all of the latest and greatest, then please do drop me a like down below as well, as it massively helps to support me and my content here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's jump into the notes. So, as always, we get the greetings adventurers the new world update 1.4.4 downtime will begin at 11 p.m pt or 6 a.m utc on may the 3rd or it's actually going to be the morning of may 4th for the european guys out there this weekly update is focused on fixing some of the crafting weapon and other general issues alongside the bug fixes we've unlocked a batch of names that were used previously by deleted characters find the full list of changes below so that last bit that they've mentioned there is actually a pretty cool one so I'm going to jump straight into that as you guys will be able to see if we scroll down here then this is the list of the changes it will be linked in the description as well should you want to look for it for yourselves but the first one on this list here is unlocked names that were previously marked as in use by deleted characters players can now use these names so if your name was taken or the name that you usually pick in games was taken or maybe you want to get an og name you know some of these um particularly like the three four letter word names like dog cat that sort of stuff people like to get those names not too sure why personally um but i guess it's cool if you want to try and get some of those you know some of your own names or maybe you've spelt your name slightly differently to how you wanted it you might want to make a second character and just at least bagsy that name for yourself keep it secured uh, as this has now been done or will be done when these servers go back up so you should be able to get hands on with that hopefully some of you can get your original og usernames back if they were stolen for whatever reason or maybe you can get a slightly different one that is more likely to be what you want to use i know it is kind of annoying most people like myself wouldn't want to restart luckily thank goodness i actually got my username but obviously you know that's an option if you do want to use it or you're thinking about creating a second third fourth character whatever uh then yeah you have got the option to do that there as well now we're moving on to the fixes next here and the first thing here is that they've fixed an issue that could cause global events and timers to negatively impact server performance in other words, like your global cooldowns, your changeover of the mutations, that kind of thing was impacting server performance slightly. That should now be fixed, which is really nice. It should increase the performance and consistency of the servers for everybody. They've also fixed an issue that could permanently disable dodging after becoming exhausted. This was quite annoying, particularly in PvP when you were dodging around, but also mutations. Sometimes it was bugging out when you got to that zero stamina and... You know, some people were memeing it and saying, well, if you get into zero stamina, you're doing it wrong, so it serves you right. But, of course, it was a bug, and that has now been remedied and fixed, which is great. We've also then seen a fix of an issue that caused crafting sessions to fail during periods of high latency. So that sometimes when it said crafting failed, hopefully now that is less frequent. The Tempest Heart replica weapons now craft with the intended 592 to 600 gear score range when crafted with max tier ingredients and using all of the buffs. The Tempest Heart replica weapons were previously crafting at too high of a gear score level. For those of you that did catch that at the right time, this was actually guaranteed legendaries pretty much all of the time. That's now been fixed, but still 592 to 600 is still very, very good. It's not the 595 to 600 you get with the Oracalcum rolls when you do have maximum stuff. But of course, if you want the replica weapons, that's the roll you're going to be doing. And it is still a very decent roll, only within 8 points of 600. So pretty good chances to get a good legendary drop there. And of course, always will be able to be upgraded to 600 with the Umbral system. And then of course, the 625 after that. 
Now, they've also fixed an issue that caused the Alacrity, Empowered, and Fortify amulet perks to disable Freedom, Vigor, or Invigorated Armor perks if equipped in a specific order. Not sure why that was happening, but hopefully now as a result of this, some of us should see a bit more, a little boost in combat in certain aspects, because a lot of players will not have realized this was happening. I didn't really know it was a thing until I saw these notes just a few minutes previous to the video, so... There we go, I guess we might see a little boost and, you know, of course, might see a little power spike in certain areas where we weren't before. They've also fixed an issue here that allowed shield perks to be applied even when a sword wasn't equipped. So obviously that's with the new changes where if it's sheathed, you can still get the attributes, which is great. But there was some bugs around that where it was giving you the attributes even when you had things like a great axe, which was kind of odd. So that's now been fixed, thankfully, so we should be back to how it's intended. And then they have fixed an issue here that caused mortar charge to get stuck in a state where all shots became mortar shots. Again, essentially unending mortar shot. It was quite the carnage. I uh, saw this a couple of times in OPR, but thankfully now that has disappeared. And they've also fixed a rare issue that caused the Hatchet Berserk and the Ice Gauntlet's Ice Pylon abilities to not come off cooldown. So that's obviously, you know, you can't get the ability back after it's gone, which was annoying. So thankfully that's been fixed. And they've also then fixed finally an issue here that caused the Marks of Fortune dialogue to pop up when attempting to purchase server transfer tokens under certain conditions so hopefully now you should see the right text so that you know you are actually getting server transfers and not marks of fortune which i'm sure gave everybody a little fright that tried to do that that did get the wrong message but we're back to the consistent way now. So, like I said, not a massive update, just a few quick things there, but I just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention, let you all know what is going on, and you should see this within the next few hours of the upload going up, or if you're watching it afterwards, these updates and fixes will already be deployed on the servers. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys, so I would like to thank you for your time, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to drop a subscribe and a like down below, as both of those things massively help to support me and my content here on the channel. If you do want to go the extra mile and support me directly you can of course join as a channel member down below through the join option or on the channel page or you can leave a super thanks in the chat which is essentially a highlighted comment on the video which is pretty cool as well i appreciate you all for watching and that is going to be it for today so i'll catch you again very very shortly on a brand new upload take care and peace